waiting in Scottsdale at the designated pickup curb on 69th Street and Indian School Road. My Waymo is going to come around the corner. There it is. Electric Jaguar with air conditioning. Wow, okay, I gotta unlock it. Alright, I'm inside buckled up. I'm gonna start the ride. Heading to Hyatt Regency Phoenix. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. For any questions, press the call support button to speak with a rider support. Oh man, I wanted to sit in the front seat. Happy Friday. Let's try this. Happy Friday. Looking for a good spot to pull over. Doesn't look like a good spot. There's a driveway there. Okay. Moderately acceptable. Uh, doors. Doors locked. No, unlock. There we go. I don't want it to leave without me, so I'm gonna leave this open. There we go. Sitting up front. There we go. Let's see. All right, let's go. Resuming ride. I don't know why I sat in the back to begin with. I didn't record my ride to the mall here, but we came across an intersection with a disabled signal. So it slowed down. There was a couple guys in the intersection waving it on and it slowed down until another car in the left lane passed by and then it went ahead. So I don't know if it was following the car in the left lane or if it was following the construction guys that were waving it forward. It gets moving pretty much right up to the speed limit right away. It's already going 30. Uh, I think there was a 35 mile an hour speed limit a minute ago. But here we are at 35 now. Uh, it is not shy. One of the things I was really surprised about is it's way more assertive than I expected. It drives pretty much like a person, pretty close. I thought it would be more cautious and slow, but it even went through, it made a right turn through a crosswalk with a person in the crosswalk. I didn't expect it to do that, but presumably these things are pretty damn safe. I don't know, if they're getting in crashes, they're probably paying people millions of dollars to sign NDAs and not talk about it. There was a safety talk the first time that played on the speakers. I guess it knows I already heard it once, so it didn't give me the full safety talk. It just said basically wear your seatbelt and, uh, you know, warm and fuzzies about how safe it is. I guess I could have sat right there. I don't know. It's got, nope, it says do not sit here. I didn't see that from the back last time. Waymo is doing the driving. The app says I could have four people, but I guess that's one here and then the three belts in the back. So there's luggage space too, but I guess they don't want you sitting in the left seat, the captain's seat. Uh, that guy's over the line, what's gonna happen here? Oh, doesn't mind that, okay. One of the things that the Waymo has that the Tesla doesn't is a sensor right up on the front corners to look when it pulls up to an intersection. I think that's one of the biggest fatal flaws of the Tesla Autopilot, that and the fact that Tesla Autopilot only has cameras. There's all kinds of LiDAR sensors. I believe there are LiDAR sensors all over this thing. Whoa, okay. I don't know why it didn't like, maybe he was over the line. Just did a little braking action there. Here is an unprotected left turn. This is what I wanted to see. This is why I took a longer drive. It's kind of anticipating that turn a little. That's not really human-like, but I guess it doesn't matter. 
get a view from over here. Oh, is it gonna punch it? Oh my God, it's punching it. That guy's coming fast. Oh, and there's construction here. That was a tough decision. It seems to be aware of the construction cones. Tesla does that too. It's not showing the ones on the right side of the road, but I don't know if it's supposed to. Here's another right turn with somebody at the crosswalk. And it's gonna turn on the red. What if they get a walk? Oh, no, that's not a problem, okay. Punching it right up to 40 already. 45. I don't see a speed limit sign here, but uh, I'll bet you the speed limit's 45. It wastes no time. I think part of that is probably, this is obviously pure speculation, but I think they probably just don't want the local drivers to get super annoyed with these things. They're all over the place already. And if the local drivers get annoyed with them being slow and too cautious, then they'll complain. Oh, wow, that's a tight squeeze. Got a couple cameras in here. One right here says record. There's another one in the back seat, just like that. I wonder if you're allowed to hike around up here. It's pretty hot today. I'll pass up the pullover. We've got a little music selection here. We got some EDM. Oh, here's a roundabout. Some sound effects for that, maybe. Oh, it's wasting no time at all. Why are we not playing music yet? Bad connection. Hope it's not relying on the connection for the driving. Couple of planes into Sky Harbor. Can't focus. There we go. Still no music. I would complain, but I'm not going to. What is this about? Oh, can't open that. Ethernet cable right there. Interesting. All right, so we just turned into a residential neighborhood, kind of. There's a school over there. I was just chilling with the window down. But I'm gonna roll it up for sound purposes. There's a couple people crossing. It's slowing for them. Interesting. Okay. Obviously, we'd have to do that, but I was waiting for an interaction with humans. Speed bump, it saw that coming. For some reason, it feels extra weird to be in this thing going through like a residential area, the playground and stuff nearby. I mean, this just driving around houses. We're making a left. And it's not pulling up very far. I don't know how it expects to see traffic. I can't see traffic yet. I mean, I'm not at the front of the car either. But I guess that's how it's programmed. There was only one time that I had it really kind of slam on the brakes. It was right before I got out of the car last time. And there was a car parked in the lane illegally in the red and it slammed on and, and then it said something on the screen like slowed for stopped obstacle or something. It tried to like excuse the, the hard braking. I haven't had it hit the brakes that hard this time yet. It really cruises through these intersections. I also noticed that I don't think they get on the freeway at all. Um, looking at the map, it, I think it would have made more sense to take the freeway back to the hotel, but I'm guessing that these things don't do any freeway driving. Okay, so it's too bad I missed this, but like as traffic was slowing, it was in the left lane and it just slowly got over to this lane because it could get a couple of car lengths ahead like a person would. And now it's got the left turn signal on again. What a dick. I don't know what its plan is here. It, 
traffic was backed up over there, so it got over to the right. Now it's put itself into a situation where it's gonna have a hard time getting over. And I don't know how long it has to turn. Maybe it's gonna try squeezing in here. Nope. See, this is gonna be interesting. It's still got, oh. That's weird, it turned off the signal for a second and it put it back on. I can't open the app while I'm, oh, it's gonna squeeze right here. Oh man, what? Oh my goodness, come on, that's just rude. Now you're sticking into traffic. Wow. That's like a angry taxi driver move. It had to get back over here to make this left. It told me, oh. Almost did your drop off. Check the app for walking directions. So it told me on the app that it was not gonna be able to drop me off directly in front of the hotel. It would be like a minute or two walk, which obviously I'm fine with, but it's interesting to see the sort of areas that it decides to do the drop off. Like you can see right here, that's all, that's a train track that's red right there. It's not gonna drop off right here. Um, train's moving right now too. All right, where's my drop off? The last drop-off wasn't great. It was between two red curbs and in an intersection of a parking lot. So, really want to get this one on video. Let's get the right turn signal on. See, now we're, what are we doing here? We're gonna, finding a spot to pull over. This is red. What are you doing, man? You gonna pull over in the red? I've got you on video. Really? It's doing it. Pulled over. You're here. Please make sure it's clear before exiting. All right, well, look at that red curb. What's going on here? Got all my stuff. All right. Police, anybody? Anybody wanna, no? Okay. See ya. Is it gonna go or what? There it goes.